Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got Taking People to T-City with Brian Ortega. Um, if you guys like the uh, Kind of Fighter Showcase video, I've done a few of them already. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and let me know in the comments if you guys have any um, fighter suggestions that you want me to do. Um, today, just kind of playing Brian Ortega. It's about six, seven, eight games. I'm not too sure. Um, a bunch of games. Um, where we dominate, we got some striking, some grappling, um, and we do Brian Ortega justice in this video, that's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, um, so pretty much, if you guys don't know what this series is, um, not all fighter showcases are the same, but, um, some of them I just post kind of on their own, so you can just appreciate the uh, video, some of them I can become a commentator. Yeah, so uh, we're going to start here. We hit him with a beautiful head kick combo. We go to throw him on the ground, but he defends it. So we hit him with that overhand hook combo. Uh, and we go for that flying knee, he counters pretty well. And this guy is not the best striker I noticed because right there he kind of just doesn't acknowledge. Like, he doesn't acknowledge when he's weak. And, uh, so we're just kind of doing our best job to get him out of here. We go for the level change on the knees. We get him thinking. Get him kind of thinking about a level change, and we're just kind of teeing off on him there. And this guy's not doing the greatest stuff fighting back. So I kind of am smelling the finish here. Hit him with the head kick. We dive in on that. And we knock him out. And that's going to be our, our fifth straight squid of the video. Um, and that was a pretty good game. Um, yeah. That's, that's a pretty good start off to the series on this game. We got a Jose Aldo, and this is probably my favorite game. Um, there's about six or seven, I believe. This is probably my favorite one. Um, and you guys are going to see why. Uh, sorry about the cut there, guys. Anyways, we got um, Brian Ortega and Jose Aldo for the first fight. Um, and we land the body kick there. This guy is uh, going to be doing a good job at landing the uh, low kicks. And he's doing a good job kind of pressure boxing. Um, and we're just trying to work the body. Because um, it's kind of just a good thing to do. One, as you can see there, they let me set up that front kick. Um, and an important thing with like Brian Ortega is like you don't really want to be standing up. But you definitely can stand up. The way that I do it is I kind of just pop their body, um, and then I kind of get them, I don't really let them think about like their head, I want I want them to constantly be thinking about their body. But you can see there he goes for like the uh, flying knee, and I hit him with a nice punch combo, and then just absolutely blast. We're just kind of teeing off on this guy a little bit. But he's not doing a bad job at keeping himself in the game and defending himself. He's doing decent. Um, hits me with a really nice combo there, and then that, uh, that cross afterwards, and that leg kick. Like, this guy's doing a good job at shutting me down a little bit. Into that Superman punch. Um, but he's just getting caught. He's getting cracked a little bit. Um, we hit him with the full counter elbow into that uppercut. Hit him in the body when he tries to fly me. He almost knocks me out there, but we get that duck elbow into that, and we drop him because I smell the finish, and we go for the, uh, bicycle kick there and we just you know I think that's probably my favorite knockout of the video it's definitely my favorite fight um, but now we uh, get your boy Jupiter um, he random picks when I pick Ryan Ortega he gets um I don't know how to say this guy's name Ev, Ev, Ev Love Ev Love and this is our, this is a pretty good game. Um, he's doing a really good job getting active and kind of gluing himself to me, which that's how you want to play against Ortega because you want you want to look and like that gets me really good with that. You want to look for with Ortega, you want a little bit of distance so you can hit the body, and you want to like when people come in on you, you want to constantly throw that teep, and then when they're backing out, you want to hit them with that lead body kick. And you're not really worried about the legs, but right there you missed full counter elbow into the uh, hook. But you're not really worried about the legs when you're playing. I mean, you can you can kick the legs, whatever, but 
you want to invest in that body long term with Otega, it's gonna be it's gonna be huge. Because that's taking away their stamina, and that's kind of the meta overall with Ortega, is that once your stamina's low, and you have a higher stamina, then you start grappling, and you maintain your stamina advantage. You don't give them a chance to... You don't give them a chance to recover that stamina. And if you guys are just kind of looking for a general way to play Ortega, that's how I play him. And this guy's getting into a little slip battle with me here. I appreciate it. We go for the head kick there. For some reason it doesn't work, and then my slip doesn't work twice. Um, but it works there. That was pretty cool. A little slip there. We punch each other in the face at the same time. Um, we get the, uh, you know, kind of the start at the end of this. Is, uh, we hurt him there really bad. Get that overhand. We drop him. Then we throw that front kick out at the range. Hit him with the body. We just kind of tee off on him there. Slip. Um, and I'm smelling the finish. We hit him with the head kick, hit him with the body kick, hit him with the double hook. And, uh, we're just keeping the pressure on him, shredding his block, getting his head health a little bit lower. Anything we can really do, throw the front kick, give him something to think about. We hit him with the uh, pull counter elbow, and we dive in. We hit the body, we go to stack guard. Um, and this guy's just refusing to die. You know, keeps the block up. We go to we go to go back down and hit him again. Pops up off, pops us off, gets back up, lives to fight another day. We go to shoot again, he's a little bit out of range. And we're just trying to slip, so anything he does throw, he's wasting. Um, but we get a really nice combo there and dive in. And we're gonna go for the kill, we're gonna go for the finish. And uh, we absolutely get it. Um, and that was a really nice finishing combo, you know. Just a really good way to get somebody out of there. So yeah, we move on to the next game. He wanted to rematch, I believe. So he gets Conor McGregor, and at this point, I'm in the series. I really want to grapple. Uh, and he gets Conor McGregor, I'm like, this is great. I mean, I'm not scared of standing with Conor, but... Yeah, we're not scared of standing with Conor at all. But I would rather grapple with Conor because... Because Connor's ground game is garbage. So that's what we're going to be looking to do. I mean, you can see the stamina advantage I was talking about. Like, he evens out a little. Sorry about the cut there. So, yeah, we're kind of looking to grapple. I mean, I'm not scared of this Connor on the feet. And we're just kind of slipping him, trying to make him waste his stamina. So, when we do get him down and go for that submission. Beautiful combo there, by the way. And yeah, we have to show him that we're a threat to him on the feet, too, and that's why it's so important. Um, because then when we go down, he's not really thinking about this aspect of it. Um, and he's just trying to get up. I'm not going to allow that to happen. We're going to deny that. We're going to move to full mount. Um, going to get some ground and pound in, go for some submissions. But I know, at least on the ground, I'm a lot more safe than I would be. We get the elbow in there, we absolutely rock him with that, he gives us the back. So we're going to take back flat, and this is really just good, because he's going to have to give me full mount, which I'll take. He's going to try to get up, we're not going to get that at all. Now he has no stamina, so you want to go for submission right now. He has no stamina, the uh, struggle mechanic, he's going to lose it immediately. There's just, so you get a beautiful uh, triangle choke there. Um, yeah, this is some textbook stuff with Ortega. And then we move right into the triangle. He still has no stamina. And if it goes to struggle, uh, I'm gonna win anyways. But we choked this guy out. This was a pretty good game. You know, we implemented how we wanted to play pretty well. We weren't scared of him on the feet. We, you know, we dump him. We get the takedown. Pretty good, uh, solid, solid game with Ortega. He was nice and safe. We played it, and we got him out there as quick as we could. And yeah, it was a good game. You know, the guy was pretty good, but that's the last game that we have with uh, Jupiter. And now we have a pretty interesting matchup with uh, Ortega and Aljamain Sterling. I think Aljamain wins this in real life, honestly, but you guys let me know what you think in the, uh, in the comments. I think Aljamain takes it against Ortega. I think it's just a little bit tougher. But in this game, they're probably about even, honestly, as far as 
as far as being a threat on the ground, they're probably both about even. Their stand-up's probably about the same, so... This is this is one of the most even fights probably in here. Aljamain and Ortega, and here it's kind of funny because this guy's like backing up, so the one way you kind of stop people like this, just don't move. And um, yeah, make them make them mess up coming to you because they're used to playing on the back foot. So you see, everyone this guy's making his forward moves. We hit him with the front kick there, hit him with the elbow there. Counters, he's in counter city right now. Because he doesn't know how to move forward. He only knows how to move backwards. And that you can tell a lot about a striker from about how they play. He's going to taunt them because I have him figured out. If he comes forward, like, you see, I'm just countering everything. He's not accustomed to this. So this is what we're going to make him do. Um, and yeah, most people, when they don't know how to counter, um, they start getting wilder. And I mean, he does good there denying that submission. Or the, uh, not the submission, the takedown. It's a nice front kick here, but I'm not going to let him do that again. And we get him rocked here, and now we're just going to turn up the aggression. We pop his body, get his head, absolutely vicious up the combination. We hit him down, and we get him up on the fence. He's really hurt. It's just going to be a mad time until he's finishing. And he's popping knees here, but I don't think he's paying attention to his own stamina. So we rock the body again, and we get him down. And now we go for the ground and pound finish, and we crack open with the... Block there, hit him with the hook, and hit him with the elbow. And we have to have her Dean pull him off of us. Um, that was that was that was a really good um you know mixture of grappling into the, like uh, just a brutal ground and pound finish. So I appreciate that game. I still think game two is my favorite game uh, as of now. But a lot of these are still still fun to watch. I mean, I played all these earlier. I don't full well remember the game, watching them. Um, yeah, the second game is definitely. I mean, this game too. This game might be a little bit more technical, honestly. We get the double body strike there on Holloway. Then we go ahead, knee, get the takedown on him, and this is like the beginning of the end. Um, I'd be a fool to let him up. I'm pretty sure I'd drag him back down. You don't want to stand with Max Holloway. Same thing with Connor. Like we're really looking to to grapple, and it's it's up to the striker to you know know how to grapple. So if they don't, how are they going to expect the jiu-jitsu fighter to fight? Like you think the jiu-jitsu guy wants to stand? No, his stamina is going to be conserved. Um, here. And he's doing a good job. You know, he gets back to half guard. Um, he's trying to get up, but I'm not going to allow it. Like I said, I'd be a fool to allow it. Um, we're going to take Fulham out. It's the most dominant position, and um, we're just going to start attacking. Again, my submission's higher. I'm not worried about the uh, struggle mechanic, but we get the uh, arm triangle here. So that's we only need one more submission, and I know this. So. Uh, we're going to get probably side control or Fulham out. Um, yeah, so we submit them there. Now we make them worry about the striking. Um, so now he's just panicking. He's trying to get up. We're not allowing him. We're going to go to the arm bar. Um, and this guy's flustered. He has no stamina. He can't deny it. And he knows that he rage quits. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.